Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Russian Empire kicking in Meng's teeth. Feels so good too. Letting that mandate tank, devastating the crap out of him. Gonna get that, um, that unrest sky high so we can get some separatists. So what, what was this? Was this? Oh, come on now. Discontent. So we need to get these separatists firing ASAP. Sooner we can siege down some of these forts, the better. I mean, sounds like, looks like he's just sending men in to die. Russian style. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got something tickling my throat a little bit. Let me take a drink of this water here. Ah, much better. Alright, so we got another idea here. Um, we're gonna wait, because that, uh... He's actually got Miltech on me. Sheesh. What about nobility? Yeah, we just took that, right? 83. So in three years, we can take mil tech. Or take mil points, I mean. Uh, support the reforms. Why are, do they just keep sending in these little one stacks? Just gotta win these sieges. His mandate is dropping like a rock. The devastation is crazy big. Um, okay. Free Orthodox province. I will take it. Um. Okay. Cossacks can have some land. I don't mind that. And let's get you guys broken down over here. Let's actually get you guys keep them moving. There you go. Siege down as much land as possible. Get that devastation ticking. As long as he doesn't try to take in any forts. That's the big one. Uh, lost our... I'll take morale of armies. Sounds good to me. Actually get you up to a four-pointer. Get these guys over here. So mandate should really... Yeah. Because the more provinces we have siege down, the better. Um, if we can get this for it, it means they'll be stuck out here on the outskirts, which will be really good for me. Alright, get you guys converted over here. Very good. Get you guys down here. Alright. <clears throat> oh, his war exhaustion is skyrocketing. Okay. He's got the unrest. This is good. Almost there. Once we get uh, 23, the tactics from 23 will be able to really just start stack wiping him. Look at that, that's a big navy too. Lots of heavies, lots of transports actually. Alright, let's get you guys in over here. And get that converted over there. So he can't even siege down Beijing, which is kind of funny. Um, right. So, mandate is still going down. I wonder how prosperity, I can't get prosperity go down much, but <clears throat> we'll keep it rolling. Um, nope, you will certainly not get that. So apparently my, my dudes were down here beating up on Pasai, so I will take those war reps, juicy. Thank you, thank you. And that will allow my, my guys to come up, where are they at anyways? I don't know. So he's just sieging back his stuff, which is fine, because I'm taking all of his forts while he's got these little stacks. So he still has like 160 or 200k walking around somewhere. I don't know where, but they're somewhere. Let's get you guys spread out over here. Gotta watch out for this 42 stack. Uh, we can definitely lose the mem power at this point. It's fine. All right, just keep on sieging down. Where's this guy going? Over here. Take this one over here. And John Zhu is sieging down all this stuff. Okay. So he's coming up here to fight these guys. Um. Ooh, he stack wiped them. Feels bad, man. That's poopy. Alright, so let's get you guys joined up and see if we can get stack wipe this army over here. Ideally, I'm gonna get tech before I engage, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen that way. 
So, so let's get you guys split up over here and over here and over here and over there. And then as soon as we start winning these sieges, we'll walk on down and start sieging down Canton. Or Canton, or however it's pronounced. Imperialism. And advanced si um, client states. Very nice. Alright. Oh, look at that. 0.29 from Devastation. That's juicy. Alright, so let's get you guys down here. I think we actually tick up Devastation... No, it's just point two due to look at all that. Very good. Keep on ticking it up. Tick up the devastation. Ruin them. Ruin them. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to to destroy the Ming. Get that Ming explosion happening, huh? Go up to Beijing. Uh Army Tradition sounds good to me. Sounds good. Um, when was this? This year, or so March. Okay, so let's chase chase this stack down over here. Let's get this guy. All right, so let's see here. I think we should be able to do this click soon. Yes. Um, very good, and that should allow us to buy tech, very good, which will allow us to stack wipe this guy right here. Eee, disgusting. Let's go with these guys here. <clears throat> very good, let's come on down here. So he's got some rebels, not separatists, which is what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Mandate is fi is really tanking now. Okay, get you guys over here. And I'm alright with the rebels occupying him because I don't need all that war score. So we have call for peace, but I'm pretty sure for the while I'm gonna be totally fine. Because we have all these modifiers reducing our war exhaustion. So let's get that devastation. Uh, free stab. Miltech cost. Wish I would've got that, like, you know, a minute ago. Alright. Let's get those guys over here. Continue sieging them down. Ooh. Got a couple of rogue stacks over here. I was wondering why I hadn't been seeing many of their armies. So he's at 20. So the separatists are still not taken up at all. I wonder why it's not separatists. Why is it particularists? So here's the separatists. Okay, yeah, separatists are gonna be firing. Alright, cool. So. Let's snake a couple of these forts then. This is probably a good piece. Let's see if we can get one more. Very good, 100% war score. 92% overextension, which is okay, I believe. Yeah, cool. All right, very good. So they have nothing to save their devastation now. So now they're locked into this devastation loss. Oh yeah, that's it. Minus 1.3 a month. So then what we do is this right here. <clears throat> Declare war on his uh, vassal. Um, so I'm actually going to client state this all. Because I don't want to core all this. I'm going to give them Beijing first. So... need Oh. Three. So let's give you a client state. And we will call this one... Ruski China. And, uh, yeah, we'll give him a Rurikovich. And you are going to... Where are we at here? 
Hello? How do I change this? Oh, customize subject. Here we go. So, ooh, I kind of like that emblem though. We're gonna keep the dragon emblem. Uh, let's go with... Gotta get some Russian green in there. That's pretty good. And green and... We'll actually just stick with that. So let's pick a good background color. I suppose maybe we should do the three, the three, just like our flag. Only instead of the Russian Eagle, we have, maybe, maybe you can't do a tricolor. Well, that was a close. Is there not just like a regular, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So let's get white here. And then blue here. And then, that's a, is that the darkest blue you have? Yeah. And then red here. Very good. And then for an emblem, oh, let's go with the <laughs> Risky China. Very good. Russo Chinese. All right, very good. And then. Your, oh, we need to change his actual map color too. I'm putting way too much time into this, but I'm having fun. Uh, Diplo reps, or yeah, Diplo relations, I should say. So map color, we'll go with about like a, I like that yellow, that's pretty good. All right, and then we'll give him all of this as well. He's gonna have rebels, but it's fine. I could actually just make it all into uh, trade companies if I wanted to, but it's all right. Is he Confucian or is he Orthodox? He might actually be Orthodox. So I'm going to make him into a March as well, which is going to make him a lot stronger. He's got pretty good dev right now, I believe. Let's see here. What's his dev looking like? Or Diplo, I mean. Or dev. Yeah, dev. 143. It's pretty good. All right, so let's make you into a march. <clears throat> he is orthodox. Um, so we got Ruski China. Cool. <laughs> I like it. Oh wait, I need. I owe him this one as well. Very good. All right, provincial unrest. So Lublin. So that's in a couple of guys that I don't really care a whole lot about. Why do I have? Oh, I just need to let it take over. We're good. We're good. So. Oh, these are all level sixes. Very nice. So let's get a couple of more level sixes along this border here to prevent anybody, any of the unwanted, from getting in here to the interior. Uh, yep, yeah, and that'll be fine. And I'll take this one up as well. Very good. Let's actually turn our army off for a bit. I'm gonna have to get our armies collected over here. So these guys over here, and let's get you guys up to there. And all you guys over to here. So I gave him a lot of dev right there. He's building up that army. Very good. He's good. So let's get you guys joined up, and then right there. Um. <laughs> That's some border gore right there, just snaking through Ming. I love it. Are these separatists? None of it. None of it. Do I have any unrest? No unrest anymore. Riddle me that one. It's fine. They're still losing their mandate, so... Doesn't bother me a whole lot. Um, They're only down to 3,000 in debt now. Interesting. Well, I suppose I could just... Because, I mean, at this point, he's he's... He's done though. He's not He's not going to be anybody I need to worry about. <laughs> oh, right. I don't border him anymore. So I'm actually going to keep this one. Um, let me see here. You're going to give me Shenyang. And that will cause their Yeah, there we go. I know it makes him mad, but uh you'll be all right, brother. Let me see here. Let's dev up a couple of your 
give you a couple of admin clicks, right? Um, I assume this is just all... Oh, it's not a core. Right, 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 right. Okay. Well, we have a truce with you. We don't have a truce with you. What's that about? Well, I guess he is a march, so we can subsidize his armies. Okay. Very good. Um, continue converting. Convert for him, even. See, look, and he wants to be a disloyal vassal. You son of a gun. Alright, and let's get a couple more level 6s over here. Um, let's go with one right there. And that'll keep them completely locked over here. Uh, I'll have to upgrade this one as well. How much is this going to cost? Like 400, I think? Yeah, 440. So we'll upgrade that one. That'll be good. So... Diplo insult on him. How, why would you be a tributary state of him? Don't you understand that he's a weakling? He's a weakling. Uh, let's go with siege. Let's go with siege for all of you guys, actually. So let's actually make sure everybody's income is good. You're, you legit haven't... I think we need to annex somebody because Wallachia hasn't fielded an army like yet, which is pretty annoying. We need this one province from Uzbek as well. He's been he's been an OPM just sitting in my land for a while there. Mamlux. Still allied to Mamlux. What's up with you, Mamlux? Um, let's go ahead and annex them. Um, so let's fabricate a claim on an area. This one looks pretty good. Outer Mongolia. So let's go with fabricate claim on area on Outer Mongolia. Very good. Might be able to fabricate another one. So let's see here. Now 55. Okay, well, that's enough of that then. Let's get you royal or loyal. <laughs> So is he getting all this stuff? He is getting it, finally. Alright, cool. Um, so let's get that. A couple of clicks there. That'll make him loyal, at least. So he'll marry me. Will you marry me, bro? You, will you marry me? Thank you. Alright, cool. Um, rival Austria, sounds good to me. Got a lot of power projection from beating up on Ming. I like that. All right, let's see here. So we're gonna declare on Oriot, Orat, Orat, Oriot, Oirat. I'm always really bad at saying that, or at pronouncing that. Um, so let's see here. Royal marriage with you, and then we can do a quick little annexation over here. Miltech, very good. Uh, it's going to take me three years. That'll free up a slot. Um, I'll give the money to the Kazakhs. I don't care. Mongol separatists, huh? So let's get that army turned back on. Get you guys over. Get you guys over here. Another monthly tick. Wipe those guys out. Come over here. Wipe these guys out. Very good. Let him siege his own land back. I don't care. So there is zero mandate left, which is very good. Devastation is still sky high. Still no rebels, though. I suppose there's no time like the present. Let's get to war. It's time for warring. Um, so this one will be my little uh, doom stack that we're going to run around and just wipe out Chinese with. Oh, I guess we're going to fight some uh, particularists as well. Thanks for getting the siege warmed up for me, brother. Very good. I mean, they're not they are not going to be able to, to fight me in the slightest. Uh, so where's his capital at? Over here. Um, let's get you guys over there. 
How many men do you have in the field? Oh, not very much. Very good. Um, theocratic government? Do we do it? <laughs> do we become a theocracy? We totally could. That'd be fun, kind of funny. Uh, let's just go with the maximum absolutism, I suppose. Um, any rebels to suppress? Nope, they're pretty much all his. They are all his, actually. Alright, keep on converting his provinces for him. How was that one? 25. 56 dollars. Expensive. Alright, cool. We'll finish up this war in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please show your support. Leave a like on the video. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel, you can check out the Discord linked in the description down below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on as well. And if you want to see more of this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you ding the bell, it'll tell you every time I upload. It's the best way to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.